All right, I finally uh, got around to doing this. I've been wanting to do it for days, uh, but before I get started, uh, I want to thank the Blade RF team for um, sending out a Blade RF XA9, donating it uh, to the page here to Dragon OS Focal. Um, that means a lot. I really appreciate it. That makes this uh, video possible, and um, this by far is um, the best radio uh, I think I've been using thus far. I mean, I've got uh, Yate working really well, and uh, now to top it all off, this uh, Blade RF Wi-Fi wi -Fi project here. Um, so the Blade RF team, I guess, wrote up this open source software-defined radio modem that's uh, 80211 compatible. So we're looking at we can do monitor mode. Uh, but in this demonstration, I'll set up a, an access point, just basically following their directions there, and we'll see my phone connect to it. Uh, but I want to try out um, Kismet here soon, which is uh, building in support for this. So a lot of good things. This is uh, pretty cool, especially with the little lab environment to uh, play with here. And, and learn this page. I recommend reading the whole thing. It's got a great write-up. Um, but anyways, um, we're going to use the, the Dragonos Focal ISO I'm working on right now. I've tried to include everything, so it's minimal configuration needed. And we'll use LibBlader F and then Mac 80211 host APD and some of the other parts and pieces in the Linux operating system itself with the FPGA that we'll load on the Blader F XA9. So jump over. They got... Uh, a link to their instructions page here which I've already taken care of most of this um, we'll jump down uh, we've got the FPGA available the only thing I'll note is uh, this here uh, I built it against uh, the kernel that Dragon OS ships with and had to temporarily have the, the headers in there to do that so if you change the kernel you're gonna need to uh, rebuild this you will just uh, download it to you know your home directory and uh, rebuild it against whatever kernels you got or your kernel you have and uh, host APD you can change the configuration files which you may need to do based on uh, for example so I have a wireless uh, NIC card in this laptop so WLAN 0 uh, when we come down here and we see where we're setting up our DHCP server uh, I, for this demonstration, um, I'm sure it's something I, I missed, and I'll, I'll research a little bit more. I was having um, just a little trouble getting DHCP, so I just went ahead and set this phone to a static IP, and then I'll, I'll look at this and, and figure this out. But WLAN 0, you can see, uh, I'll, I'll reference that as WLAN 1, and then, um, yeah, so just keep that in mind. All right, so we're going to load uh, the kernel module and then we'll configure the network interface which I just put everything in a script and again it referenced WLAN 1 instead of WLAN 0 so I'll move this off to the side here a second so we can kind of follow along if we change into our user source build directory here and actually one more we'll see we can INS mod the kernel and we'll just specify one radio we can see now I've got my WLAN 1 and then the Blade RF WLAN 1 and we can see I've, I've put a uh, setup.sh file in here which is pretty much just does everything that's uh, listed in the pay or the on the page here I've just referenced WLAN 1 so that and then we'll load we'll go ahead and load the FPGA all right we'll run the Mac 80211 I'll push that to the background for a second that's registering that we can see our packets We'll run the host APD user source. Again, you can uh, look at the configuration file that uh, they recommend using. I just left it uh, default to 802.11a and uh, channel 140. And 
hopefully my phone will connect relatively easy which I've already preset up so that's going to take a little while what you're looking for is um, AP enabled if you change it to G and you know channel 1 through 11 or so it's a, it's a starter fast up or faster startup but we're going to leave it on channel uh, 140 again I'll push that to the background and we'll go ahead and we'll launch this optional um, little splash page that we'll connect to with Python Python 3 so that's going to serve up a, a splash page I'm still waiting for this to say AP enabled and once that's done we should be able to come over on the phone let's see and there we go AP enabled should see that the phone connects the phone connected and let's pull up page here We'll go to 10.0.0.1. Uh, let's see. Port 5000. And there we go. So now the phone is connected to the Blade RF uh, 80211 uh, FPGA that's loaded. And um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty freaking awesome. So um, that's a pretty easy setup uh, once you get everything up and running and connect and then you can experiment with and change host APD settings I guess we'll take a look at one more thing uh, matter of fact um, just thanks for supporting this channel and uh, if I don't come back it didn't work I just was going to take a look at because uh, uh, I don't know if my internal NIC card is able to see 5 gigahertz but let's see All right, so um, the internal card, I was going to uh, hope to show a Kismet kind of seeing uh, this, the interaction between the phone and the Blade RF, uh, but uh, I just realized I don't have a 5 gigahertz uh, NIC card, so fail on my part. But thanks for hanging in there. Um, hope you enjoy this. Recommend picking up uh, XA9 and then uh, diving in on this uh, project here. All right, thank you.